My name is Ricky, and today I would like to show you how to make little frames for ATC cards, artist trading cards. Uh, some of my artist trading cards that I make and also exchange with other people are so beautiful that I would like to display them. And I can't see them in those little protective uh, plastic sleeves. So to display my artist trading cards, I thought of something. I thought, why not make uh, a little frame or a box, car or box uh, frame for displaying an ATC trading card. So this one has, or all three of them, have artist trading cards from a store on Etsy called Antique Papery. The store is owned by Sherry Mitchell and she makes one of the most beautiful uh, papers out there that I have found and I really really love her papers. This collection is called Lavender Dreams which right now is only available as an ATC card which these cards you can also use in your journals, in your scrapbooking, etc. And uh, also, like me, for display. So when I made these and I um, these frames and I printed the paper out, I jazzed it up a little bit with some sequins and a little bling. But I love to, I love to display them on my little easel. And I just, I have one around on my crafting table. So let's get to it and we'll make one together. I have prepared most of it already so I don't have to uh, hold you up on this video for hours. So let's get to it. The first thing you need is a piece of cardstock that measures four, five and a quarter by six and a quarter. You will have to get your scoring board out and you have to score your cardstock on all four sides every quarter of an inch. So you score at a quarter and a half at three quarter and one inch. You do this on all sides. After that, after you have scored your piece of cardstock, you will go ahead and you will fold and burnish all score lines that you just made on all sides. After that you will get your ruler. You will go to the long side of your cardstock. And I like to use this ruler because it is, uh, you can see through it and I really like that. You will mark your paper or your cardstock, sorry at one and one-fourth. Right at the top you will go down one score line and the second score line and you will do the same. You will mark it again at one and one-fourth or one and a quarter. You will do this to this long side and the opposite side right over here. Then you will connect, let me turn it back around, then you will connect the last mark you made on the second score line, you will connect it with the third score line at a diagonal and you will hit like this intersection right here on the last score line and you will make a diagonal line down 
and you will do this on both of the long sides. You will end up with something like that. I have already marked in the flap. You don't want to you don't want to cut this part off. But you want to cut right here in green. You want to cut all this off. So Basically, you're only leaving a little flap right here. So after you marked it, you will go to your short sides and you will cut down the short side all the way down to the last score line. So you, this is free now. You will do this to the other side as well. You will cut down all the way to the last score line, right before the last score line. You go back to your long side and you will cut off. And we do this together now. You will cut where you made your line. You still got the you got to keep this part right here, this tiny little square. You need to keep that on the long side because this will end up being a little flat. I hope you can see that. Let me see if the camera will. All right. This little flap right there needs to stay. So this is what you're going to do with this. So you cut, and I usually cut, cut it this way so I see where my flap is, right there. So here's my flap. I didn't cut my flap off. And now I'm cutting at an angle and at that line that I made. I, I kind of take a little wedge out of uh, this little flap, make it a little smaller, and I also take a tiny little wedge out of the first quarter inch line that I have. So again, it looks like this. This is the long side right here. This is the long side. It looks like this. I have to be careful not to cut my wedge, my little uh, flap out. So I cut, I cut, I turn it around. I have my flap. And you can even put this flap to the other side and hold it if that's easier. And then I cut that. I take a little bit wedge out here. And a little wedge on the flap. The flaps are the ones that will go on the inside of your frame. And one more. We have one more side to go. Go down. I turn it. Rotate it. Here's my flap. I would like to keep this. Got it. And don't be afraid. You can rotate as much as I want to. I have to kind of um, play around uh, my camera here, my phone, so it's hard for me to see. And I hope you all can see that. This is how I do it. So, all right. So we got all sides, and I got a. Take a little piece of that. And I've already applied some double sided tape on the sides. On, I, uh, on um, all the sides. You will need some liquid, liquid glue as well. And I just received a large bottle of my. Um, 
of Art Glitter Glue, which I love using. Uh, it sets really quickly, the Art Glitter Glue. So, uh, but you do, but you need a little bit of time to have some wiggle room there. Because if you don't, and you stick it in right away, sometimes if it doesn't line up, um, then you you have it you know it's stuck down, and then you have to rip it up, and that's not good. So I always put a little art glitter glue on it first. And then push it down. And you see how I do that. So make sure you're lining your score line up. And you can literally see when it's lined up right here. You can feel it too, because it kind of it kind of um you can just feel it. It's there. So I take a dowel, just a, I don't know, just a chopstick works too, and I go in and I give it a good press on the inside for it to lay down. Make sure you got it lined up and it's not coming back up. And it just needs a, a second or two to, to dry. That art glitter glue is fantastic. So you got your first side down. Now we're going to move to, that's the long side we just did. Now we're going to move to a short side. So we're going to do this side. And when you look, how really nice they fit together. See, And you have, you need that little flap right here to make it look nicer. If you don't have the flap on the side, when you look on the side of the frame, you have like a gap. And I didn't care for that, so I left them on. So you take, again, you take your, take your double-sided tape off, take your glue, the glue that you like, doesn't have to be art glitter glue. It can be just the glue that you prefer. I prefer this on projects like this. Um, I have other glues for other things, but um, this really, on 3D projects, art, art glitter glue really makes a difference. And um, I like using it. So you kind of tuck it. You see how I'm doing this here? I'm trying to not get my hands in the way. So I, I, I roll it and I kind of tuck it under with the corner. And again, I make sure it is lined up. And I kind of put pressure on it, on the dowel. And I also like to take a little art glitter glue, put it on a piece of paper, and this is why you keep your little scraps around. Do this, and this trick is really cool. So what you do, you bend down. Go in there, put some glue in there, and press. And it just, a couple of seconds, it will hold. There you go. You got your first corner ready. And it looks really nice. Here comes your next. And sometimes, like right now, this little flap, is a little too large, so you just snip it off. That's why you got snips or scissors. I got a little something on there though. Well, we can take that off later. This is also just an example for you to see 
how I did this, so it's not a big deal. I can even cover it up with some cardstock if I needed to. But these things also uh, would be so cool in a greeting card. Um, of course, you would have to put it in a special envelope. And um, when you send it, probably, you know, extra, some extra uh, postage at the post office. But this would look really, really nice uh, in a birthday card or... Not really anything. My dogs are all oh, three dogs right now here at the. I mean, I only have three dogs. Only hmm, some people would say, "What three dogs?" But they're all sleeping. They're all snoozing, snoring. The smallest one, the oldest one, makes the biggest noises. It is really funny. All right, this is not. This is not uh, wanting to. Play with me here, so. Well, let's try this again. This is better. Okay. All right. I got my fingers full of glue now. Okay. So we got this down. And let's go under here and put a little glue. So let's hold it. And the last side. Of course, when you do it, um, you can take time, you know, you can take your time and, and put it together. Uh, better than me right now with the camera going here and, and kind of time uh, restricted. I don't want to make this video for, you know, too long. People have other things to do in their life than sitting down for hours to watch a video, so. So now, you kind of roll it. Roll it up. And you got to play a little bit with it. It's a bit fiddly at the end, but we'll get there. Sorry, I bumped the camera. All right. Okay, one side is in. And this has a hard time, this side. Okay, I want to put a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. We got our frame. So now you have to uh, jazz it up, put your picture in it, put your ATC card in it. Um, I left a little space so you can mat it. And um, I thought that was great uh, to mat it. It makes the card stand out even more. One thing, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I purchased um, this at the Dollar Tree. It's it's an adhesive remover. 
So you have to make sure, though, that your glue is dry before you do that. But it takes all you glue off that might have, you know, spilled out of your frame. Um, and uh, these things are fantastic in a, in a book. You can't beat it, right? So this is your little frame now. Now you take your ATC card and you bling it up, you jazz it up, and you have something really pretty that you can pop right in the middle of a card, of a greeting card. You can even put a, uh, a sentiment in that, uh, the sky's the limit. And the more you do these, the faster you get with them. So give it a try and have fun with it. It's, uh, you just have patience putting it together. But I think these things are just really, really cute. So, and they're handmade, made by you. And anybody who receives that will surely appreciate it. So I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye.